this episode, this bathroom is going to be finished. In just the last week, we've been lucky enough to gain over 1,000 new subscribers. So it would only be right to welcome you to the DIY clan and update you all on what you've missed so far. So after two years of vanning around the world, we've put our travels on hold and have invested £175,000 into this three bed, semi-detached auction property in sunny Suffolk. We're now just over two months into this renovation and have already completed a full demolition, an RSJ installation, fitting these French doors and so much more. As you would have gathered, this episode is all about the bathroom and there are some things we just can't wait to show you. So with that being said, let's get into the episode. So just to refresh on the location of our bathroom, as you guys know, it's a three bed semi-detached house and there is currently no bathroom upstairs. So we're actually dividing this master bedroom up a little bit and popping a bathroom here. Unfortunately, it's not normally as simple as just popping a bathroom there though. We actually have to do a lot of pre-ground works because basically there is no plumbing currently upstairs, which is a bit of a ball ache for us. But fortunately, as some of you might have seen last week, we've got some familiar faces helping us. So whilst Kieran is cracking on with that, I'm currently trying to work out how to run the hot and cold feed from the boiler in the second bedroom here to the bathroom in the master bedroom here. So it's a bit of a complicated job. And speaking of which... Bathroom vanity unit, let's go. Let's build this bitch. It's a flat pack, by the way. <laughs> Although, inevitably, a flat-packed £120 Amazon sideboard wouldn't have been our first choice for a bathroom vanity unit. After looking through the mainstream bathroom retailer sites, we just weren't prepared to throw half a grand at just one unit, especially with just a £30,000 renovation budget. £120 from Amazon? Yep. Yeah. That is cheap as chips. Can't go wrong, can Should we put sinks on it and give it a look in? Definitely. <gasps> wow. I can't believe how quick this is coming together now. Now, let's get these vanity sinks plumbed in. to the back of our bathroom. We were just trying to like reach our little hands in really tight places. We just forgot to take the plaster board off the back of this stud wall. Game changer. Look at her, she's a plowman. We realised the only difference between these expensive units and a basic Amazon sideboard is the drawers having already been cut to allow room for drain pipe wastage. And we figured, for the want of £400, I could probably cut a square hole in a drawer. I'm a carpenter. Well, it's fair to say I'm definitely not a carpenter, but I've still managed to save myself around £400 doing this small job. She's an actual plumber, mate. I come back and I see this. What? day that we talk about where all the wastage from this bathroom is actually going to go. So it's going to come out of the bathroom, out of this wall, and it's going to enter into the main sewage through this drain. And fortunately for me, although I was willing to kind of drill this massive 110 millimeter soil pipe hole through the side of the house, through the brick, our central heating expert Jake stepped up, even though it's not included in his quote, and kind of said he'd do it. So that was a bit of a result. So after working out the run of the pipe, we then realised that we're going to need a bit of backup to do quite a lot of digging. So we invited our friends around for what they thought would be a nice summery Saturday barbecue. But realistically, they're just digging out our shit pipe. Go on, Ben. So 
taking it really seriously. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, whilst us boys cracked this job out, the girls and Will did some gardening at the front of the house, which hopefully will really help the curb appeal. This is Will, our friend. You might have seen him if you were with us in America. Will's yeah. single, by the way, guys. Thanks. He's single, he's ready to mingle. Really? He's such a yeah. nice guy. Nice. He, he's an aerospace engineer. Thank you. He's going to be rich. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Here we go. Can I get my company in this as well? Yeah, really? go on. So, go on. Altin Engineering, www.altin-engineering.co.uk. And why would they contact you? What, what uh, would you give them? If you have any sort of um, electronics and prototyping needs, then come to us. He's really good. He's got his own office. Fucking hell, mate. Free promo. Look at that. What a win. So we're making a lot of headway now and it's looking like we're going to be calling upon some trades very soon. More specifically, our first fix electrician and a plasterer. But there is still plenty of prep work to do before then, including filling holes, fixing plasterboard and removing wallpaper. So we've got a lot to get going with. But we quickly realise we are going to run out of time. Tomorrow this is going to take a long time because we've got lots of holes to measure. Yeah. And stuff. And it has to be ready for the plasterer Thursday. Yep. Which is tomorrow afternoon. Which is tomorrow. Oh. Right, there's this random big hole up here and I've messaged the pastor and he was like, yeah, can you fill it before I come? Because my job is just to skim. So I said, yes, I will. So it basically involves putting noggins up there and then getting little bits of plasterboard to kind of box it out. So that's what I'm going to do. Look at her. Yeah, you've smashed it. Yeah? Hold on, mate. So we actually made ourselves a little bit more work because we haven't got enough work to do around here. And we actually cracked this wall pretty badly when trying to remove the old door frame there. So we've taken the brick that was loose off and we're gonna cut that up now into a nice square so we can replace the brick. Let's crack on with fixing this wall. ASMR brick wall fixing montage, let's go. <laughs> Down. Right, time to measure up and mark up some bricks. We are a little insane. What are you doing, darling? I am doing some plumbing. Mm, for what? Mm, for the shower. Oh. Ha, ha. So now it is time for me to do some more bonding, compound, joining, whatever it's called, because I didn't realise that I hadn't done this gap here and that needs to get done. While she's doing that, I'm going to be cracking on with some more plumbing for the shower, just training some more pipes and that, you know? <laughs> compound joining today. The plasterer also asked us to compound join this because it takes ages to dry. For those of you who don't know, compound joining is just a really good way of leveling things because it's this really thick consistency that kind of sticks to anything. So let's get on with that.
Singing the songs of angry men It is the music of the people who will not be slain Second class poor piece going on now We're still plastering <sighs> We're saying we've done so much of the prep work for this bloody plasterer We might as well have just plastered we, Yeah Not to sound like a dick yeah, I know. Do I sound like a dick? Well, they're like three small walls, and now I'm like, 200 and something quid for just three small walls that I probably could have done myself. Well, we'll see how well he does. Yeah. This is his trial period for the rest of the house. It so. is, yeah, so. Dress to impress good sir. Waiting for the plaster to come. Thank goodness. Funnily enough, this is actually the first tradie we've had in to come and help us with our project. And that is mainly because of our very strict budget of £30,000. But boy, does it feel so good to just sit back and watch them work, even if they are a little bit crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> God, it looks so good, doesn't it? Wow. He smashed it, hasn't he? Oh my god, I can really see it now. Can you? But in full disclosure, we did tell a little lie just now in saying that we sat back and watched them work. Realistically, our addiction to this build is way too strong at the moment, and any time we kind of have a chill moment, we end up tackling another job. This time, it was the picnic. Yeah, I guess that's what you get when you take a break on an untreated picnic bench. But at this point, we're actually going to reward ourselves with having the weekend off, and that may or may not be because the plaster is waiting to dry. But trust us, as soon as it is dry, it's getting painted. It's a new day and you might have noticed yesterday when we were doing this mist coat that the electrician's been by the way and wired in these spotlights in the bathroom. What's it looking like up there mate? Yeah it's very well insulated, very well insulated mate. Which have given us so much light, it's a bit of a game changer really. So the bathroom is slowly coming together but it is a bit of a process. So we're just going to keep powering on today and focus on this shower area and see where we get to. Stick with us, it's going to look good. So this is where the shower is currently at, just to give you a bit of an idea. We've plumbed in a hot and a cold feed from the floorboards, plumbed that into our shower mixer. We've then got a feed going up to our shower at the top, and then a little jet wash side one coming up the side that we're currently plumbing in now. Next steps is to start working on these walls, get them all aqua boarded, get them all flush, and then we can plumb this baby in. Sweetie. I'm gonna tussle with a wire. <laughs> well, it's another day, and it's fair to say we're running out of time to get this bathroom finished. So it's kind of all balls to the walls now. And I think to start the day, we're gonna give a little go at the flooring. We've basically got aqua panels to put at the bottom, and then we've got these butte tiles from Wicks to put on the top. But we got to cover up some floorboards first, so it's a process. That's really good, isn't it? Got 
The front bit works. Another one where it looks like the apple wax. So how much are we betting I smash this first time? Uh, I think you might. I already have. Come cash. Right, so we have attempted some tile cutting. Harry is being the tile cutting master right now whilst I pop these tiles into place and make sure that they are perfectly sized. But now it's finally the time for me to actually glue them down with this tile adhesive that I've just made. Um, and finally we're starting to see some sort of resemblance of a bathroom. Let's get on with it. You're killing it. You're looking knackered, but you're killing it. It's fair to say, we're both exhausted at the moment. We're kind of going balls to the walls with this bathroom. We are, I don't know why. You've become ill from it. Yes. I've just become knackered and grouchy. But yeah, we've oh got- Oh my God, you've got grey hairs growing at the back of your head. I'm not even kidding. Don't say that. Is that what the bathroom's doing to you? I'm that stressed, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I'm actually quite excited about this bathroom. Yeah, I'm really excited about this bathroom. So I'm currently taking a notch out of one of these joists because unfortunately, as is always the way, our shower waste ends up on a joist somehow. So just last couple jobs before we can get the shower tray in place and get that job ticked off. So we're pretty disappointed with ourselves that we haven't managed to get this bathroom finished in time for this video, but we kind of put unnecessary pressure on ourselves and a crazy amount of work to do in a short space of time. Yeah, we make ourselves ill by how much we work, honestly. I'm ill right now, I don't know if you can tell. Vicious. <laughs> but this time, I do promise you that the bathroom's gonna be done by next episode. It really will this time. And we're gonna be on to bigger and better things by then. We are, I'm so excited for what's coming after the bathroom. So just stick it out, guys. Wait that extra two weeks and you will be with us marching on. And we're going to finish this house. We will. As you can tell, we're going a bit crazy, so we're going to leave the video there. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't entered the giveaway, make sure you do enter the giveaway. You can win yourself £250 by just commenting your guess of the market value of this house when we're done refurbing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you've liked and subscribed, and we'll see you in two weeks' time with the bathroom done. And when we're more ill. Oh, yeah. See you later. Bye. <laughs>